This segment of the news is brought to you by Sun Oil Limited. Welcome back. Opposition Deputy Leader and Shadow Finance Minister Chester Cooper urging the government to come clean on the terms of the sale for the Grand Lucan Resort on Grand Bahama. In a statement released yesterday, Mr. Cooper says that he was flabbergasted as Michael Scott, chairman of the government-owned Lucayan Renewal Holdings, is no longer involved with negotiations regarding the sale of the Grand Lucayan property. Mr. Cooper insists that the latest terms of the sale of the property immediately be made public and release the details of the reopening strategy for the hotel, which is supposed to happen in less than two weeks. Cooper contends that the government recklessness with the sale has burdened the Bahamian people at a time when they can least afford it. The government purchased the Grand Lucayan for $65 million in August of 2018 and originally scheduled early 2021 for the redevelopment of the property by Holistica, a joint company of RCI and ITEM. However, the COVID-19 pandemic has slowed the finalization of that sale. Uh, this has been a plan that's been laid in the works for quite some time. There is a piece of legislation for a sovereign wealth fund uh, passed by the Christie administration. Uh, there has to be some review. We recommended in April that this be expedited. Uh, and now, leading into an election, uh, the Prime Minister is looking for campaign points, and this is one of them. We support a sovereign wealth fund. We believe it has a significant importance in the development of our country, in the management of our natural resources, uh, to allow this fund to not just collect royalties, but also to aggregate uh, the national resources of our country. Progressive Liberal Party Deputy Leader Chester Cooper is accusing Prime Minister and Minister of Finance Dr. Hubert Minnis of being disingenuous when it comes to the government's approach to establishing a sovereign wealth fund. Prime Minister Dr. Hubert Minnis recently stated that the government will fast track the implementation of a sovereign wealth fund. While Mr. Cooper suggested the Prime Minister was simply looking for attention on social media platforms. Mr. Cooper says the PLP has a plan for placing close attention on the country's natural resources, which would be added to the sovereign wealth fund. He says the PLP will be rolling out those plans shortly. However, he also noted that the desired effect, which for the Prime Minister is fast-tracking the Sovereign Wealth Fund, will not bring the immediate boost that is currently needed to impact the nation's economic recovery. Speaking at the Bahamas Business Outlook 2021, the Prime Minister said the government's fast-tracking of the implementation of a Sovereign Wealth Fund is a recommendation by the Economic Recovery Committee. Police on the hunt for several men wanted, one for attempted murder, two for assault with a deadly weapon, and two for fraud. Police believe with your help they can locate and bring these men in for questioning. 26-year-old Tennyson Delavaux, also known as Tennyson Chisholm, is wanted for attempted murder. He stands between 5'6 and 5'7 and is of medium brown complexion and slim built. His last known address is number 52 Yamakra Beach Estates. 23-year-old Baldwin Moss, a.k.a. Bobo, is wanted for assault with a deadly weapon. He is also of medium brown complexion, slim built, and stands between 5'5 and 5'6. His last known address is number 20, Geranium Avenue. 29-year-old Rashando Gibson is of dark brown complexion, 5'4 to 5'5 in height, and medium built. His last known address is 13 Hampton Street. He too is wanted for assault with a deadly weapon. Meantime, 27-year-old Christopher Gerard Strawn, a.k.a. Christopher Major, a.k.a. Don Cortez, of number 3 Cool Air Subdivision, is of dark brown complexion and heavy built. His height is unknown and he is wanted for fraud. Also wanted for fraud is 32-year-old Donovan Rashad Bain of number 37 Young Street. He is also of dark brown complexion and medium built. His height is also unknown. These men are all wanted by the Criminal Investigation Division. Anyone knowing the whereabouts of any of these men is asked to contact the CID at 502-9991 or 2-911 or 919. Stay with us. This segment of the news has been brought to you by Sun Oil Limited.